Good morning, everybody on Educated Economist here. So everybody is really questioning why the economy is so resilient. In fact, this is one of the reasons why the Federal Reserve may not be lowering interest rates going into the future like everybody knew that they were going to do because of the 2% target that has almost been achieved. Everybody is confused by the economy. Now, if you have been following my channel for any length of time, you have heard me talk about the neutral interest rate many, many times. And I have talked about this neutral interest rate being the reason why the economy is doing as well as it is and nobody really understands this neutral interest rate because it's not really a set number. You don't know exactly what this neutral interest rate is so nobody really talks about it but the neutral interest rate is the interest rate that is neither accommodating nor restricting the economy and it changes over time. And as the higher interest rates and the inflation expectation has been persistently running in the economy it is pulling the neutral interest rate ever closer or higher to the Fed funds rate, making it less restrictive. Now, I have said this so many times, so many times on this channel, and it's not well known and there's not a lot of people talking about it, but I found the Reuters article today that is saying exactly that. It's down in the description of this video. You can go check it out for yourself. You know, one of the things that ends up taking place when you study the Federal Reserve as much as I have is that you just become like kind of more understanding of the certain aspects of the economy in a way that just looks at it from like their point of view. And I'm not trying to say that they are a good or bad organization or anything like that. I'm not. To me, I've taken the position of I just don't care anymore. I just want to know what the hell is going on. So I study their speeches. I study their their monetary policy and what it is that they have planned for it. I tried to figure out the strategies for it. I've been poring over these things for years. And now I know that I have a handle on this strategy, that I know it better than more pe most people out there. And I'm not trying to brag it up, I'm just trying to say that I have studied their stuff, understand their monetary policy, and the moment that you think that they have failed, it is an incorrect idea. I'm telling you, this has been planned from the very get-go. The the high inflation, the raising of the Fed funds rate, the lifting of the neutral interest rate, the inflation expectation, everything that we have experienced within the economy was planned. It was needed within the Federal Reserve's own statements. I mean, I'm not even going off of some conspiracy theory here of some, you know, wacko nut job blogger or something like that. I'm using the Fed statements themselves. The people who have been following me know this. This is why I get such, you know, such great reviews from some of the commenters. I mean, it's just like amazing. If you go and you look at some of the comments from the members who have joined the channel and they tell you about how much they have learned from doing the discussions from these live streams, it is invaluable. There is, right now, there is so much confusion taking place. It is almost impossible to put your hands on what it is that's going on. If you did not study this stuff for yourselves, all the information that is coming at you is clouding your mind. It is almost, it's almost impossible to decipher it, right? To filter through all that stuff. When we discuss this, we break it down for the working class average person to understand. And the more we understand it, the more we know about what it is that's going on, the better decisions that we can make for ourselves. This is like, it's, it, you, can't, you can't get away from this. There is no way that you can get away from this. You know, and then once you understand this stuff, it is like now you can actually use this information for your own benefit. Maybe you don't start that business or maybe you should. While everybody else is failing, maybe now's the time for you to get started and get your business going. So when we get through this thing, you can get, you know, you'll be up and running. I'm not trying to give advice out there. All I'm saying is that once you have this information, you will have better understanding of what it is that you need to do for yourself. And this neutral interest rate is not something that is well talked about. And following this channel, you would have known about the neutral interest rate. You would know about what the Fed's strategy is because we've been following it since John Williams' November, what is this, November 30th, 2018. Monetary policy strategies for a low neutral interest rate world. In this speech, he said that the inflation expectation had been running persistently too low. I mean, listen to this. Today, we face an altogether different set of problems stemming from a very low neutral interest rate. 
right? The neutral interest rate was too close to the lower bound of zero, right? That is the short-term real interest rate that is consistent with an economy operating at its potential alongside low and stable inflation. Ironically, the problem we need to solve these days is the risk of inflation that is persistently too low rather than too high. Guess what? The inflation expectation ran persistently too high. They got their, in, their Fed funds rate elevated. The neutral interest rate is moving up. The economy seems to be persistently doing well beyond what anybody had ever imagined or hoped for but had you followed this channel you would have known about that neutral interest rate months and months and months ago because we have been I have been mentioning this speech probably 700 times in the last two years <laughs> oh, I mean I kid you not it's just about every single video I bring it up because I think it's that important and I know a lot of times people will look at it as just like man the same old information it's not this is not the same old information. This stuff changes daily. Right now, we have a regional banking crisis taking place, and we're going to cover Michelle Bowman's most recent speech talking about the future of banking. That just took this speech was yesterday. We are going to cover that speech in a live stream on Sunday. We're covering another speech, uh, banking, this one right here. I got to put my glasses back on. The Path Forward for Banking Capital Reform. Right. This is another speech that we are going to be covering. We're going to do this one on Thursday evening. Again, you have to join the channel if you want to know, if you want to know what's going on with these speeches. You can go down in the description and go and get the speech for yourself and read it, or you can join the live stream and join in with the team of people who is going to break this information down. And I guarantee you, even if you're a working class person who is just now getting into this stuff, you don't need to be into high level finance to understand this. Your average day job gives you more information in real time in real time data than you could ever possibly imagine. <clears throat> it is incredibly valuable, but the only way to know what it is is to understand this stuff first. Otherwise, you'll never recognize it within your own job. And I'm serious about that. It's one of the reasons I was able to call out the lumber industry as well as I was I could is because I work within the industry itself. And I'm a study macroeconomics like you wouldn't believe I have like an incredible obsession for this stuff and the more we break it down the more we understand it the more we internalize this information the more we can actually do something with it it actually becomes just naturally intuitive to us I mean I called out that neutral interest rate rising months and months ago before anybody was even talking about it Hardly anybody even knows what the hell the neutral interest rate is. I very rarely see economies talking about it. I find very few articles talking about the neutral interest rate. But that neutral interest rate was, a, was absolutely critical to the economy in the way that it is functioning now. Another thing we have to think about is the lag time. See, the neutral interest rate is rising and there's a lag time within the Fed funds rate when the time that they raise rates to the time that it actually impacts the economy. You have to think, these things are all at play at the same time. Hardly anybody understands that. <clears throat> you know, they want to take what's currently going on, they want to take what Jerome Powell said, they want to take what, you know, some economists are saying that's going on and how they made a mistake and all this other stuff and that they've got these knee-jerk reactions and stuff like that. That's not even the case. This is a very long, well-planned out methodical plan. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it, but that's what exactly what is taking place right now. And I encourage you, there is a link down in the description. It costs a dollar a month. Literally, it's one dollar to you, but it's everything to me. If you can imagine the amount of work that I have put in to try and put these videos together so that everybody can understand it, so that you can use this information for yourself. If you understood how valuable this is and you're only paying a dollar a month for it, I mean, you're not going to get it anywhere else unless you go and get it for yourself, right? So the link is down in the description for the to join the channel and you can be part of this group. Or you can go and read the speeches for yourself and try and decipher all that information. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.